Don't come at me with that bullshit about, oh, well, she, if she shouldn't have thrown the pot. I don't give a shit. Fast. She was put in a position because of his lack of humanity and empathy. Real talk, man. So miss me with that bullshit. I double down and I say that I hope he gets prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and Sonia Massey should be alive today if not for that savage asshole who dehumanized her the minute he laid eyes on her. Oh, man. So... We got this police officer right here. He's speaking about a situation with Sonny Massey, man. The, the sad passing, the sad murder of her by that police officer, Sean Grayson, who should have never been a goddamn cop in the first place due to his record in the past. Being discharged from the military for serious misconduct, which means, which means that if he was a civilian, that's what they're saying. If he was a civilian, whatever he did, would have um would have amounted to at least one year in jail that type of shit and that, that with that big red flag he still was able to get six jobs six different jobs you know i think he also has a pass as a dui with duis and stuff on his record and still was given this much chance you know when you put people's lives in the hands of individuals like that that police department has to be held responsible for that but um let's see what this officer has to say i think he i'm not sure where he's from but he is speaking about it. It's going viral. I want to check it out and see why it's going viral. He must be saying some dope things. Hey guys, some of y'all have tagged me and some of you have messaged me for my take on the incident that happened in Springfield, Illinois. And my take is this. Uh, Miss Sonia Massey had some things going on. That night it appeared, Miss Massey needed help. But instead, Miss Massey was murdered. That's my short take on it. Hmm. Okay. Cut and dry. She was murdered by a thug that had a badge and gun hmm. and an evil spirit. Mm, that's what I said. The longer version is I watched this video. I had to rewatch it to make sure I saw what I thought I saw the first time and it really bothered me as I know it bothered you if you've seen it. Yes, it did. I fast forwarded to the part right before he shot, put my ear to the phone, closed my eyes. For some reason, I think I can hear better when I do that to make sure I heard the back and forth like I thought I did. Let's rewind. First off, the guy that shot her was already a little ticked over asking her for her license and she couldn't find it. First off, she didn't have to give him her license. She was in her home. Hmm, okay. In her home. There was no reason for her to give him her license. Hmm. Fast forward, pot of water. His partner is the one that told her to go around there and get it. Yeah. He's standing pretty close. Situational awareness. He backs up and moves off to the side, kind of chuckling about it. Mm -hmm. He didn't fear her, but he wasn't taking any chances at all. Yeah. Completely understandable. Yeah. She asked, where are you going? He says, away from your hot, steaming water. Then she says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But she's not talking to that guy. Nope. She's looking at the guy that ends up shooting her. He says, huh? She says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. This sets him off. Hmm. I rewatched it. I listened. I rewatched it over and over. That spirit. She is not trying to close the gap on him. She is not drawing back to throw the hot water on him. He goes off at being rebuked. Hmm. I believe this wholeheartedly. Talk. Y'all can make fun of me if you want to. I said the same thing. Talk. I believe this. Talk. What does he say? You better effing not, or I swear to God, I will shoot you in the effing face. At which point, she's scared to death. Pot goes on the counter. 
nothing in her hand. She cowers down, understandably. He saw her put the pot down. He keeps saying, Drop the pot. Drop the pot. Drop the pot. Drop the pot. Mm -hmm. She starts peeking back up. What does he do? Still nothing in her hands. Pot's still on the counter. He follows through what he told her he was going to do. He shot her in the effing face. Hmm. Murder. During the aftermath, does not administer aid, discourages his partner from administering aid, says on the radio, yeah, she's still breathing, but she's losing a lot of blood. Hmm. No remorse. Nothing. This guy should have never been in law enforcement, and he deserves to be in prison for the rest of his life. Facts. Law enforcement failed Miss Massey that night. She needed help, but she got murdered instead. That's my take, guys. God bless. Damn. Um, I seen another officer speak on the situation. I want to tap in with his perspective as well. This guy's name is Big Reekin Man, Angel L. Masonette. Let's see what he has to say. So I've been going back and forth all day on uh, social media regarding the... Um, killing of Sonia Massey by the uh, deputy in uh, Illinois. So uh, I just wanted to share the video and then I'll share my thoughts afterwards. All right, we'll skip past the video since you already seen that. Let's get to his thoughts. Detail. A few things to dissect here, right? First of all, she called because uh, she was reporting a prowler. The officers that responded, one of the officers, the officer that ended up shooting her and killing her, uh, has been with, I believe, six different departments since 2020. Um, don't quote me, I might be off. Uh, been with multiple departments since 2020. The common, he's the uh, common denominator, right? Something's wrong. <sighs> She's sitting on her couch, uh, doesn't make a move for the pot that's on the stove mm -hmm. until she's prompted to by him. He tells her that he doesn't want a fire to, you know, happen in the apartment. She goes over, she grabs the um, pot. She says, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you. He says, you better not, I'll fucking shoot you in the face. Uh, she moves towards the pot. He then draws his firearm, tells her again, he's gonna shoot her. She then releases the pot and puts her hands up and says, I'm sorry. What happens behind the little wall there, um, you can't see, but he ends up executing her, kills her, shoots her in the head. Uh, I believe shoots her three times, hits her once in the face and kills her. Um, bad shoot to me. I think that he had time and distance as his ally. Now people are saying, well, it's not officer's duty to retreat. Um, there's a difference between the duty to retreat and the ability to retreat for or a tactical retreat, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can retreat. Um, you can create space between yourself and your perceived threat. Um, this woman was tiny. Uh, not to say that tiny women or men haven't killed police in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to make excuses for this. This was uh, an execution, in my opinion. Uh, I was a police officer for 22 years, uh, police officer slash detective for 22 plus years. I did patrol for the better part of 12 years. I encountered a lot of people um, who could have been, who I could have killed, right? But I didn't, even though I would have been justified in it, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's such a thing called de-escalation. Yes. Uh, at the point where he tells her, if you don't um, put the pot down, I'm going to shoot you in the fucking face. After she says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Uh, he could have very easily spoke to her and said, honey, please, you know, step away from the pot. Or he could have asked his partner while he stayed with her, do me a favor, go turn the pot off, take it off of the stove while she was getting her ID. She posed zero threat. Yeah. So there are people who are going to defend the police uh, mindlessly, just the way people defend criminals mindlessly, right? Uh, mm -hmm. No matter what happens, they'll defend them. No matter what they say, they'll defend them. I'm sorry, I'm not one of those people. Um, I believe that uh, this woman was was uh, murdered. Uh, she should not have been uh, shot and killed by this officer. 
and I hope he gets held accountable <clears throat> and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Facts. And I hope that um, her family gets justice, whether it be um, in a criminal sense or whether it be in a so. civil sense financially, um, because this woman was a victim of police brutality and she was executed by that police officer in my uh, humble opinion. I agree, man. Let me know your thoughts below. I agree. Now, after the former officer got pushed back, he came back to double down. Let's see what he got to say. So I've been getting pushed back on the um, murder of Sonia Macy by former deputy Sean Grayson. Um, I forgot the name of his department, but uh, I unequivocally doubled down and I am, again, uh, condemning his actions, condemning what occurred, condemning her murder. Um, if he did not go in there with a lack of empathy, with a lack of humanity, and uh, dehumanize her as soon as he laid eyes on her, in my opinion, my humble opinion, what the hell do I know? I was a patrol cop for 12 years uh, and a detective for 10. Um, this wouldn't have happened, right? He sent her to the kitchen to the pot. She was sitting on her couch getting ID out of her purse when he told her to go to the kitchen to go to the pot. He could have told his partner to go to the pot. He could have went to the pot. He could have ignored the damn pot. He sent her to the pot. Now everybody wants to say, well, she threw the water at him. I disagree. I know what my eyes saw. Um, I would put it more as her putting her hands in the air and dropping the pot or trying to get rid of the pot because after he cursed at her, instead of acting like a human, right, she panicked after she rebuked him in the name of Jesus, right, which is a cultural thing, which is another issue, right? Obviously, oh, he doesn't understand. This shit pissing me off even more again, bro. And the culture that he's policing. Mm hmm. She rebuked him and he tried to shoot her in the face. Continuously. Okay? That's a lack of humanity. That's a disgusting savage to me. There's no. There's no other way to look at it, okay? So all you people who have never done one iota of street police work, I don't give a shit if you're retired cops and you were, uh, uh, and, and this goes for the social media cops, this goes for anybody, right? Until you've worked around people for a long period of time that deserve empathy and respect, okay? Don't come at me with that bullshit about oh well she if she shouldn't have thrown the pot i don't give a shit Facts. she was put in a position because of his lack of humanity and empathy real, real talk, man. so miss me with that bullshit i double down and i say that i hope he gets prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and sonia massey should be alive today if not for that savage asshole who dehumanized her the minute he laid eyes on her Facts. Talk, talk that talk man and that's my thing dog that's why I was getting upset because people were upset with me calling out the facts. I did say yes. She did pick up the pot again after she went on the floor and cowered down. She did eventually get back up again and then pick up the pot. I said from that point on, you guys go ahead and say what you want to say about what she you think her intentions was at a point because she's not here to say what she was trying to do. She could have been following their orders saying, she, you keep telling me to drop the pot. I only had the pot in my hand. What are you trying to say? Spit the water out? I'll spit the water out. Get shot. Because she was already down, they still threatening her. I think her fight or flight kicked in because she was all she was never on the offensive. She was always listening and following instructions the entire time. She was never posing a threat. So automatically, I think that she doesn't know what to do at that point in time because she's being threatened and she's been on chill mode. She was a, such a sweet lady throughout the whole entire time, acknowledging that she did have something going on and she was trying to manage it, saying she was on her meds earlier that day. When she was getting a response, that was kind of weird from that police officer. She like, let me show you my paperwork. I'm thinking she's wanted to show them, listen, I think you should try to deal with me differently because I think you're trying to come off as kind of aggressive with me. And I ain't even on that type of timing. That's my thought. So everyone, when it comes to this conversation, people want to stick on a pot situation. It doesn't matter. That's why I said in my first video, 
I'm going to acknowledge this, but I don't want to be a straw man's argument to go and take it away from the big fact that he's pointing out, he's doubling down on, that he dehumanized her, he didn't know how to deal with her, a black Christian woman saying that I rebuke you, taking that as a threat and going insane from that point. That's a huge issue. People was even mad at me saying the miscommunication in my first video. I wasn't belittling the situation. My point of saying the miscommunication is this man, not from the community, policing the community, is a big issue that he can't even understand her saying i rebuke you and him taking it as a threat resulting in him taking her life people may want to say i think he took her out of context on purpose to validate him taking her life you may want to say that and i ain't gonna i'm not gonna push back on that so my point is it don't even matter if she threw the pot or not dude was dead wrong regardless regardless bro so don't let nobody try to gaslight y'all when it comes to that one specific detail bro everything else was horribly done by that police officer. Let me know what y'all gotta say in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.